What's up guys? So this is week two in its entirety. Um, I think that the heaviest triple I ended up getting was on the third day. It was a 250 or 255. Uh, don't quote me on either one. It was definitely at least 250. Um, again, the point of this is not necessarily the weight though. It's, it's the speed being generated and, you know, you're instructed in the program, uh, when the third rep starts feeling slow, just to stop and err on the side of caution, you know, don't try to take it one step further. Um, uh, and that sort of thing. Um, yeah, my push presses are still trash. I think for weeks three and four on the set that calls for, uh, your, your alternate press, I'm just going to go ahead and do strict press. Um, I want to get a little bit of practice, um, more practice, strict pressing that doesn't have to be so fast. Uh, you know, so I'm, I'm ready when the time comes to grind out a weight if need be. Um, my push press is just so awful. I feel like at this point, my lack of technical mastery on that movement, um, is leading to a point where it won't contribute as much as if I were to just go ahead and do strict presses. Uh, you're seeing squats in the bottom left corner. I worked up to a paused 455, uh, and then a back off pause triple at 425. Uh, my back felt okay. Uh, wanted to keep the RPE very low on those. Um, you'll see they all moved extremely well and fast. I did, I really didn't want to push anything there. Um, I'm kind of just, you know, when I can fit in a squat or a deadlift day, I do and just alternate, uh, between squats and deadlifts, uh, on week two, day two, um, on all the day twos, they call for weighted dips. I used a hundred on one of my sets. I just wanted to see if I could do dips with a hundred pound plate, uh, for a set of six. And I did, I, I used a 45 for all my other sets. Um, but you know, there's nearly 300 pounds of fat blob doing weighted dips with a hundred pound plate uh, for all you twinks to get mogged. Anyway, uh, I can't say anything other than like everything's feeling good because when they don't feel good, you stop. <laughs> so it, it's hard to get a gauge on things. Um, I, I thought going into uh, day three here that it was going to suck and I was feeling a bit run down and fatigued. Um, but again, this ended up, I ended up getting my heaviest set and I called it right there. You saw that was definitely slow on the third rep. And then on my, uh, snatch grip behind the neck, it called for two sets of a 10 rep max. And again, this is airing on the side of caution. You're not to go to like an absolute max. I used 155. I probably could have used more as easy as you see these moves. I even, yeah, make my last ones are paused. Uh, just not familiar with the movement. So definitely, definitely staying on the side of caution and, uh, not pushing too hard on these. Uh, but one thing I can say for sure, my traps are definitely growing from this program two weeks in. That's something I've, uh, noticed. So yeah.